Hello. Hello. Is that why we are from here? Mr. Chibuzo. Mr. Chibuzo. Oh, yeah. You're welcome. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Thank you. Okay, okay you're welcome.
Good morning, everybody. We are going to start the hour of questions actually at 11 11 a.m. I got this run by one from the side of the duration of the program is not to go back to the slides. Can everybody hear me? Hello. 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 No. Uh, please help help to improve the the, the 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 clarity of your microphone. Is the network clear? Okay. We can hear you, but not quite clear. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think the reason for the echo is because there are two or more gadgets there connected to the same. Network. I think it's actually only one gadget. Ah, yeah. uh -huh, and then it's still echoing. Well, Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Hello. Good morning. How are you? Is everybody? Everybody hearing me? Hello. Hello. Yes, we can hear you, very sir. It is clear. Okay. So we are going to kick start the program now. Hello. Good morning. Can you hear me? Welcome on stage. Okay. You're welcome. So we are going to start with the opening and the attendance. Hello. Hello. What is the way we can hear you? Just go ahead. Um, the you said contractive officers representative, Mr. Macho Maxwell, the chief of party, Aaron Karima, the deputy chief of party, Malam Adamu Mohammed. The PFM director, Mr. Olu Benga. The executive chairman of Aqua Ibom, Internal Revenue Service. The executive chairman, Bauchi State Internal Revenue Service. The executive chairman of Iboni Internal Revenue Service. The executive chairman of Gombe Internal Revenue Service. The host state, the most state board of internal revenue, the executive chairman of Sokoto Internal Revenue Service, a distinguished of our state guest, Adam State Survey General. 
invited honorable commissioners here present, the members of the press, all protocol duly observed. Ladies and gentlemen, you are all welcome. Today, being the thought of April 2024, gather here to give the feedback of the promise taken in Abuja in December on action plan for the first quarter of January to March 2024. So we are here to hear from the partner states on how far have we gone on the action plan? Chairman of the Internal Revenue Service, the six partner states, and the invited guest. While the e attendance, we take you. So you register yourself while making the opening remarks. Thank you. Okay. While taking your attendance, while taking our attendance, we invite the PPM state to state at the most state had distinguished susanna miyada to introduce the dead the dignitaries madam we are welcome thank you very much for joining today's meeting so in the next few minutes, we're going to have a quick round of self-introduction. I'd like to start by introducing the people here in Adamawa. We have the representative of General, the State Officer General here with us. And then it's called Office of the General. We have of a general. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. How do Representing the avoidable absence during the meeting. And the representative of this. Solomon Mandama, Director of Responsibility for Mission. Thank you very much. You're welcome, sir. Director of Budget and Planning from Ministry of Budget and Economic Good Planning. Good morning. Good morning. And Mr. Okay. Elia Chidayaro, Director of Budget, Ministry of Budget and Economic Planning. You are welcome, sir. Thank you. And we. Representative of Adama says you are welcome sir 
Thank you, thank you. So, in alphabet school order, can we hear from AKIRS, please? Unmute your mic and introduce yourself. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Yeah, hi. My name is Indiana Lazisam, representing the executive chairman who is uh, unavoidably absent now, but he might join us very soon in this meeting. And uh, I have my colleagues also here with me who will be introducing themselves. Uh, good morning, everyone. My name is Ibo Eko. I'm the head of performance and change management. What are you doing? Well? My name is Basi Anta. I'm in charge of the city. All right, thank you. That's, that's, a, that's the number we have now. We're expecting some of our collective journals shortly. Thank you. Thank you very much. Number, sir. All right, thank you. Thank you very much to everyone from Aquaibo here present. So we'll move on to the participants from Bauchi. Please unmute and introduce yourselves. Anyone from Bauchi stays here? Yes, they are. They are introducing themselves. Madam okay. Lawa, hello. Sir, please, could you introduce yourself? Yeah, hello. I'm Mohammed Lawa Hassan, the coordinating director of tax operations, representing both state and My colleague, colleague uh, soon join us in the meeting. I will soon introduce himself and the executive chairman. So, thank you for joining you guys. You are welcome, and we're happy to have you. Good morning. How are you? Good morning. Uh, you are talking to Gambo Abdullah Shehu, uh, coordinating director, admin and support services, uh, Bauchi State Eternal Revenue Service. You are welcome, sir. We're happy to have Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Isaac, please introduce yourself. Okay. Good morning, everyone. My name is Isaac Otabo, PFN Specialist, Bauchi Feed Office. Thank you. You're yeah, welcome. And of course, we have the SC. Please introduce yourself. Thank you, Susan. Good morning, everyone. My name is Rabi Ekele. I'm the SCL Bauchi Field Office. Thank you very much. Thank you for joining. The next state is Eboi. Participants from Eboi, please unmute and introduce yourselves. Yeah, good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. We can hear you. You're welcome. Okay. Um sorry to announce that the chairman is um uh, uh has not been able to join us but um, hopefully before the end of the meeting he may be able to do that so i'm here with the uh, members of um a boy state uh, channel revenue service um madam, um, uh, madam introduce yourself good morning Hello. I am Elekwako Omaka, the head of TRS, the Republic of Canada Revenue Service. My name is Irem Sylvester Wachuku. I am the head of audit at Boy State Internal Revenue Service. I am Eze Uche. I sit in my department at Boy State Internal Revenue Service. 
Okoro Celestine is my name, the head of uh, property tax upon state internal revenue service. We are members that attended the last uh, COP meeting in Abuja. Thank you. Thank you very much, Eboy State, and we're happy to have you. Next is Gombe. Can I introduce myself? Oh, okay, yes. Sorry, I, I didn't see you. Please introduce yourself. Sorry, no. Okay. Uh, my name is Chibuaze. Chibuaze okay. is my name. I'm the PFN specialist in Eboy State. Happy to be here. We're happy to have you. Is the STL here? Um, STL will soon join. He's in, he's in the office. A okay. kind of uh, a lot of activities going on, but uh, I'll ask him to, to join, remind him. Mm. Thank okay, you. thank you, thank you. Next is Gumbi. Good morning, everyone. My name is Aisha Adegumu. I'm the EC Gumbi Internal Revenue Service. Thank you. You're welcome. With me, one of my staff will be introducing himself. Okay. I'm Ahmed Ali from Intelligence and Human Resources Development Department. Cool. Executive Director, Standard Tax Operations. Welcome, sir. Welcome, sir. All right. Good morning, everyone. My name is Oluwato Sinoke, the PFM specialist, Gumbi. Uh, the STL is engaged in another meeting, but he will join us soon. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. Next is Kebi, Kebi states. Usman. Yeah, good morning, everyone. Good morning, colleagues. My name is Usman Fale. I want to state to states as a stating lead for Kebi. Good to be here. You're welcome. We're happy to have you. And last but not the least, Sokoto. Good morning, all. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. Hello. Hello. Good morning. We can hear you. Okay, okay. I'm Hussein Abdullahi, executive director of the services, Tokoto State Internal Revenue Service. Thank you. You're uh, welcome, sir. Hello. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Who else from Tokoto? Yes. Yes. Um. Uh, uh, my name is Alhassan Hali. Hello. We can hear you. Yes, my name is Alassan Hali, Director of Lands Administration, Minister of Lands and Housing. Happy to be in this midst. We're happy to have you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Hello, good morning, all. Good morning. My name is Omar Yusuf from Admin Department, Sokoto State Entire Revenue Service. Nice to be here with you all. Thank you. You're welcome, and we're happy to have you. Is there anyone else from Sokoto? Or anyone else who may have missed out in the introductions? If not, we'd like to see you. We're happy to have you and we look for a fruitful meeting. Our. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. On the agenda is the opening of the chairman of the state internal revenue service. You said contracting officers representatives, and um, all of them will have only five minutes for opening remarks. Okay, may I kindly call the 
Executive Chairman of Adama State, Ghana Reverend Sai, who is the Chief Host of State. The, you said, um, said, M, my brother and friend, the Chief Mr. Arena Karimi, Hamid, Mohammed, my elder brother, PFM, so Olubenga, Executive Chairman of APA, Executive Chairman, this executive, the executive chairman, the executive chairman, new executive chairman of uh, our guest, the auditor general, the survey general. Chief of Honorable Commissioner MDS, distinguished ladies. My name is Savannah Salihu, a coordinator of the Internal Revenue Service. I am under the directive of my chief executive. Absent really absent, and this is preparing for his lesser. Uh, he have confirmed to me that as soon as uh, us before the program run out, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, uh, uh, speech as follows: Good morning and welcome to the first six pioneer states community of practice now. Um, KB is coming. Important to let you know that Adama said internal revenue during the last quarter four meeting have briefed me. They have the first in person meeting completed for 2024 and the action plan as agreed in the this was selected to force this phase which is the out therefore permit me to express I am to be the first to host to Shanghai State, I wish my representative has picked the number one on the ballot for selections of the first in will be first to host it. But I realize that we are the number six in these directions all the same we are looking forward to the time inshallah i am highly impressed and delighted with the usaid state to state activities for initiating a platform for the beneficiary state to share information on implementations of the progress and the new development in the five-year IGR expansion strategies. This will highly encourage states to learn from each other and forge ahead to grow the IGR federation allocations. I will categorically state that USAID has been a major technical backend sponsor of various the board has enormously benefited. Lastly, I extend my 
Chair, Chief of Party, and Minister's representative for the who are working assiduous assets to improve service on behalf of all the participants. Thank you, and may we have learning across the meeting. Okay. Well, welcoming the PFM technical director. And um, the, we are kindly calling you to come and give your remarks, Chief of Party. Yeah, yeah. Uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, with sincere apologies for the absence of uh, the Chief of Party, who is unavoidably absent. Uh, I'm here, and the acting Deputy Chief of Party, uh, I'm here to give a welcome remark. Uh, without uh, missing words, internally generated revenue is very, very key uh, on the ability of, of uh, any government to deliver uh, dividends of uh, democracy. And he also now see, he also sits well with uh, the objectives, one of the objectives of uh, the state-to-state -state, uh, activity. And that is also why state-to-state -to -state took it upon itself to support the states in uh, preparing the uh, IGR expansion strategy. And the further support uh, to the implementation of uh, this IGR uh, expansion strategy is this uh, community of practice, which at least we are glad to say that it has taken root. Uh, we did an inception virtual uh, inaugural uh, virtual meeting, followed by fiscal one. And yes, the, this third one, which is virtual, uh, is a confirmation of the fact that we are all ready to learn from each other and to ensure that our states expand their, uh, the potentials of their IGR uh, uh, expansion. So on this note, I want to once again thank you uh, for this, for at least accepting this initiative of state to state and a commitment to ensure that it is sustained. We also want to now say that, uh, to also give a commitment that we would continue to support the implementation of the uh, IGR expansion strategy so that uh, the, objective, the objectives of the state-to-state -state activity will be achieved and the state will be better for it at the end of uh, uh, when state-to-state -state leaves and uh, going forward. So I want to, on behalf of the COP, to enjoy you to uh, be ready to learn from each other, which is the uh, main reason for the community of practice. And I wish every one of you and all the states, uh, uh, state to state, the very best and God blessings. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mr. Olubenga. You will still on opening remarks. We have okay. Thank you very much. At uh, the next agenda, the next item on the agenda is the meeting of objectives. On the meeting of uh, on the meeting of object, the meeting of objectives of the COP. We have Fakuta Joseph Tadaus. Come on, give 
electron each. Paguta. I extend my warm greetings to all the community of practice members and other distinguished participants meeting on this platform today. My name is Mr. Fakuta Joseph Dadaus. I join you to present the objective of this meeting. The number one objective is to provide an opportunity for each partner state to present progress update on the action plan on agreed next step for implementation of the IGR expansion strategy in 2024. Two, to provide an avenue for community of practice members to share progress learn from one another in order to close gaps and enhance internally generated revenue. Then lastly, to identify challenges that are common to all the six partner states and make recommendations on how to overcome them. At this juncture, let me express my hope and confidence that the ideas we are going to exchange on this platform will add to our capacity to enhance the internally generated revenue. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. The next item in the progress update on action plan on agreed executive chairman. Adamas, Adamas State Board of Internal Revenue, you are welcome, sir. Uh, Sorry, please, we're not getting it. Uh, hello, um, my name is we're not getting it. Savannah. Um, I'm still on the executive chairman of Adam. So, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, much of the state state to state activities, particularly in Adamawa, we have to a, a better hand that our government have recognized that in fact one of it went i develop and deploy to us we have critically um used that ideas there was package inside to implement it on the ground tremendously improve our idea so amongst this item we have um developed an internal close some of the operational gaps within the md one of it is the cost we have discovered that there are a number of revenue items that flow in that contained on the existing law but we discovered that 
at the end of every month, few returns coming from those is just a returns on hot fine fees, probate, and few of them. So we have for that purpose, that the exposure we have gotten from that IGI expansion strategies, we have developed a, an internal dedicated portals to handle this. We have customized their operations in a digital format so that at the comfort of their offices, whatever that is transferred and due to the government is given to us. Then secondly, we discovered that our assessment on personal income taxes, particularly PSN, was made manually. We have digitalized that process. We expect our directed employers out there to support us with a soft copy of their data as contained by Finance Act 2023. So with this support, electronically, we communicate to our taxpayer out there to at least extract taxes without uh, issues of tax, either tax avoidance or evasions. We have also established a dedicated um, response center where taxpayer grievances were addressed. All issues that relate to risk management was of the board or either the board or the taxpayer out there have been addressed. And all this was the support we have. We have also established a customized dedicated portal to informal sector that was targeted to riders of uh, motorcycles and recycles. So daily, we collect 100 Naira to them, they sacrifice 100 Naira from their passengers throughout the day. So in fact, millions of Naira is being coming from this corridor. So in wow. fact, we have appreciated that, that effort. We have also created an internal portal to manage to administer the transport data system, such that all database that manage transportation sector in the state has been um, managed at the Ministry of Transportation. So this one was by the support of that. And presently, we have upgraded our traditional treasury management system, where this is is being made treasury report is being made. Um, traditionally by manual process. So we have digitalized and automated the process of cash books so that the comfort of all our assessment officers, as soon as you make a payment on the payment gateway, the system will automatically slash report to the cash book and make a dedicated account so that at the end of the time, our auditors will not subject to uh, artificial accuracy of those data. So these issues is being made um, electronically. So we have several issues that uh, trigger a lot of non-compliance uh, in the ASIS sector. I'm happy. Um, we have digitalized the manual process that we have where those um, property owners that are processing their ground rent process. So we are undergoing a digital of every time when we are submitting a demand, we now obtain phone number email so that at the comfort of the next assessment, um, um, informations will be sent to them electronically without uh, issues. We cannot undermine issues that uh, we have achieved from state to state, but actually there are a lot of issues. This time, 10 minutes cannot provide us to explain how far we have gone. But for that, I will allow our colleagues in other states to spare learning and share ideas where we have a short company we learn from them so that we will move our state forward. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Executive Chairman, Adama Sector Revenue Service. Ebly, represent <laughs> the Executive Chairman of the Internal Revenue Service. The Captain, bless you, sir. Thank you very much. At the next Internal Revenue Service.
to present your action plan on Are you with us? Yeah, we are. Oh, okay. Yes. Thank you so much uh, for this opportunity. As I said previously, the uh, chairman, the chairman of the Federal Internal Revenue Service, is on other states' functions, and uh, he promised that he will join us shortly. So we're still expecting him, but he has asked me to stand in for him. My name is Indian Abbas Sam, and uh, please don't expect me to speak as executive chairman. I will just speak to the items he has asked me to speak. Uh, on the updates so far on the, the agreed action plan and agreed next steps, according to what we have, we have nine uh, goals. Uh, that we might need to speak to before then. Let me mention that uh, Aquagum State's Internal Revenue Service is currently developing seven hubs, you know, tax hubs to see how to bring the services closer to the people. This tax hub is going to be equipped with all the facilities, all the equipment that would enable uh, taxpayer registration, seamless taxpayer registration, and uh, filing of returns and all that, whatever services we render will be brought closer to the people through the seven hubs. Also, for goal number one, we have completed uh, that requirement. However, it should be noted that the growth of taxpayer database is an ongoing program, and as such, we are actively including uh, adding to the existing database through the operations that we carry out through motor licensing, we are getting the data from that axis also. Uh, whenever people come to register, we capture whatever you know information there is that has to will enable us in our tax you know system. We capture information from that area too. So we are increasing on our taxpayer database. On the risks to revenue and IRS operations identified. Risk management, as we know, is a very crucial you know, aspect of uh, revenue generation. Therefore, we have engaged uh, other organizations and partners to see how we can develop a standing, standard operating procedure for acquiring state internal revenue service. And that's ongoing. Taxpayer and non-tax revenue payers have necessary information. That's goal number three, to voluntarily comply at a reasonable cost to them. Uh, this we are doing, and uh, we are expanding our sensitization across the states through... This year, we have budgeted that uh, we should look at all the three senatorial districts of the state and see how to have town hall meetings and uh, get our people to be aware you know a lot of information has to be passed across to the people so we are going to do that in terms of uh, town hall meetings in the three senatorial districts and all the districts of the states that's where as far annual filings of returns are have picked up seriously. Last year we had good response from all the com from the companies, and uh, we we are also writing to the people that did not respond to see how we can get those companies to comply. And uh, there are penalties for those who did not comply. Also, we we the acquiring state uh, GIS acquire GIS integration with acquire GILs for the purpose of uh, tax information, getting information from AquaGI so that AquaGI is the line registration system of the states for improved property taxation where we already have that database on. So we are going to mine that database and see what tax uh, we can uh, derive from properties in the states. There are several other things that we're doing. 
which we also implement system has been on for a long time now. In the last administration, I abolished cash, you know, transactions in taxes, and so we have e-payment systems. We have several uh, avenues. We have several e-payment platforms that we are uh, giving out to our taxpayers to be able to pay their taxes conveniently and efficiently. Goal number eight, we have an integrated tax administration system in place, which has all the functionalities that are required for in this goal, and the training is ongoing for that, uh, for our officers to be able to use this system and uh, collect uh, IGL efficiently for the states. These are some of the things that we have done, and uh, we hope to speak to other issues as they arise. Thank you so much. Hello. Thank you very much, Akwai Home States. The next states, please, Bauchi. Won't you please unmute and proceed? Both your states. Are you ready? Watch it, please, on mute. Uh. Hello, good morning, all. Good morning, sir. Oh. Uh, uh, good morning, Adawawa. We appreciate your leadership. We will not uh, stop congratulating to bring us together and uh, for really all the state due to your effort and uh, to the states who are participating in the okay i think uh i will not bother you by much uh reviewing or going through we'll just uh, have some few <laughs> minutes sorry you cannot hear me we can hear you loud and clear. You know, okay, loud. fine. Because somebody was talking, I thought you cannot hear me. So uh, I, I may not bother you uh, to start reviewing each of the nine calls. Who is somebody? Should mute. Sorry. Hello. Okay. So. Uh, so I may not bother you to start reviewing the entire nine goals. Rather, let me tell you what happens between our last meeting to date. Uh, just two months back, His Excellency has appointed a new tax consultant in the state. 
and uh, with the new task consultant we have developed a entirely brand new and robust please who is talking sorry okay sorry please uh we have developed an entire brand new and robust central billing system for the state whereby all the uh, revenue collecting MDAs are now on the platform and uh, all our taxpayers at the comfort of their homes, they can uh, just uh, go to the portal and make their payments. They can even go there and register. Uh, that is for a new taxpayer. He can go to the portal. There is a link for registration that com uh, connect to the integrated tax administration system of the state and uh, on the same platform is a one-stop shop uh you can verify previous tax clearance you can go ahead and uh, assess yourself at the comfort of your room all channels are available atm bank payment transfer everything ussd everything is integrated onto the new uh uh central billing system of the state and uh also in addition uh the new consultant has developed a dashboard for the executives that is executive chairman and uh, uh his excellency to be viewing our uh progressively the activities on the central billing system and uh, what really accrue for the state day by day uh in the board uh, after last time, I made mention that uh, we have uh, uh, implemented the new organogram to respond to uh, uh, goal two and goal one. Then now in the uh, board, we also now implement, last time I told you we are developing a, uh, a human resource uh, portal. So now the portal is in, uh, is in place. We are, and uh, we even add um, self service portal to make sure that uh, we update and uh, perfect our uh, employee records. So, all our employees at the comfort of their home, they will go to the self service portal, uh, update their information, update their documents, both administrative documents as well as uh, academic documents. So that one is in place already. So uh, I promised you last time that uh, we are going to establish and uh, monitor an evaluation unit. That one is in place now. And uh, they have already started uh, working already. So these are the few additions to the previous uh, uh, achievements we have done, all in, uh, in order to uh, go with His Excellency vision of making Bauchi State uh, the leading economy and uh, to be uh, one of the uh, best 10 economically viable and socially developed states in the entire country, that is by the year 2030. And uh, also coupled with the board vision to make Bauchi State financially uh, sufficient, uh, uh, sustainable, that is through IGR. So these are the few things I can add from the previous, I don't think the 10 minutes is enough for me to start a bit all by all. And uh, now I will allow my colleague to talk in the direction of uh, uh, how the activities in the IGR section. So my colleague, my beloved, please, if you are hearing me, you can just add a few words so that we continue. Thank you, uh, Adamawa and the STS. Hello, good afternoon once again. My colleagues, hello, can you hear me? Please, we can hear you. Go ahead, sir. Yeah, thank you for the opportunity to be part of this meeting. In addition to what my colleagues has rightly presented as part of the implementation strategy of the IGR expansions. The board, in collaboration with the Minister of Lands and Sobi, has made a presentation to the State Executive Council of the new land use charges, which has been approved by the Executive Council. 
as part of the strategy to harness the revenue potential from the property tax in the state. Currently, the board is developing regulations on how to implement the new land use changes and then incorporating the budget state tax harmonization law. As part of the IGR expansion strategy, the board also focus our attention right now on the informal sector. We had a, a series of meeting with the various transport unions in the state. Currently, the board commenced registration of all private motor vehicles in the state and, trans and Okada riders and Gekken are paid with the view to have a comprehensive database of all the transport operations in the state. By doing that, we also designed a strategy to implement presumptive tax. This is some of the things that we are doing. We also have a collaboration with various MDA on how we can be able to improve the revenue collection through the revenue generating MDAs. Some couple of months to go through the collab through the the STS, we are able to have a quarterly meeting with all the revenue generating MDAs, present their IGM target for their under considerations, review the performance and the challenges, and also come up with the modality on how each of the MDA will contribute their idea to the revenue generating MDAs. So basically, these are some of the things that we have been doing from the last meeting we had in December to today. Thank you for listening. Thank you very much, Mama Lan, as I'm from Bauchi State. Thank you, sir. On the giant strike and the IGR expansion strategy, we appreciate. And the next is a Bonnie Executive Chairman, Internal Revenue Service. Sir, you have 10 minutes. A Bonnie State, Internal Revenue Service, Executive Chairman. Hello. Hello. Hello, sir. We can hear you. Sir. Uh, point state is uh, point state is here. Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon, sir. My chairman is unavoidably absent due to official functions, and I'm representing him. My name is Honorable Zem and member three of the board. Um, Ebony State is just newly inaugurated. The board has, is just newly inaugurated, and um, the board is working assiduously to making sure that uh, all the expansion strategies are fully implemented. Uh, so far, so good. The, the board has trained ICT and the taxpayers on registration processes, data registration processes. The board has also trained on uh, carried out training on audits and the investigation to improve the audit department. The His Excellency, the Governor of Ebony State, has also inaugurated just inaugurated the uh, uh, revenue appeal commission that is handled with responsibility to look at the controversies and crises that emanate from IGR collection. The board has also carried out um, e-ticketing. On uh, revenue collection for easy ability. We have as well digitalized cross personal income tax assessment in our states. So we are working hard to making sure that uh, all the expansion the strategies are carried out, notwithstanding the few months that we are just in operation. So we are on board. Thank you very much.
Hello. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Deputy Chairman. Ebony State Internal Revenue Service. Thank you for the tremendous achievement in the expansion strategy goals of the IGR. Thank you very much. God bless Ebony State. The God next, bless you all. The next is Executive Chairman. Gombe State, Executive Chairman, Internal Revenue Service, Gombe State. So you have 10 minutes, sir. The floor is open for you. Executive Chairman, Internal Revenue Service, Gombe State, are you there, sir? Yeah, good morning. My name is Aisha Adamu. I'm the Executive Chairman. You are welcome. So highlight of our activities um, from the previous meeting. With respect to the first item on the list, holding the brief meeting with the Honorable Commissioner of Budget and Overseeing GIRS, this has been done in December. The second item, which is to convene a coordination meeting with all revenue generating MDAs, this has been completed. We have developed a harmonized single demand notice. We formed a committee. Of with the Ministry of Trade, Environment, Gusibda, which is the Urban Planning Development Agency from the State Security Agency. We've also developed a committee on the property tax in collaboration with Gumbi State, um, Gumbi State Geographical Information System. We are all We've also done a collaboration on enforcement on road traffic with various agencies involved. We are currently reviewing and heads and new subjects from all revenue generating MDAs in the state. The third item, which is um, holding a service wide meeting with staff on the GRS, staff of the GRS on the 2024. We held meetings with the management staff, with um, the mid management. In respect to this, our budget has been allocated to different departments, and this was duly communicated. Have been developed and are being currently tracked. So, in order to encourage set targets, we have also incentivized the process. payment to your performance so as to encourage the staff with respect to the fourth item which is which is the plan a lot of programs are being currently run in the system the ICT and we are currently working on e-filing we have an in-house IT committee that has been formed this was constituted in order to state we are currently expanding our tax collection as towards the metropolis. So in respect of this, the GRS is about full-blown revenue offices across the state. We've commenced on this to block the huge leakages we've been uncovering in that sector. Taxpayer enumeration is ongoing so as to develop a robust database. So we'll also improve our taxpayer experience, which we believe will affect our expansion strategy. We, as it is now, we have a dedicated hotline for the taxpayers. We are very active on social media and we also have a dedicated email address to liaise us with the taxpayers and other agencies. We are mapping and clustering of key revenue sectors so as to assign them to reputable vendors. The last item, which is um, holding quarterly service level review meeting on the implementation of the IGR plan. And when we state, we believe one of our key stakeholders is the government. So um, we, have involved the, we have involved the state governor into this program and has obtained his approval to carry out audit on the high network individuals. With respect to this, we have also contacted the NFIU 
and are about to go into a collaboration to aid this program. We've reviewed our lead ICT SLA for this quarter to ensure that they are performing against all the LS SLAs um, provided in our contract. Our collaboration on property tax with coaches and other stakeholders, the content has been produced and uh, is ongoing. As it is, we'll be having an enforcement of daily ticketing to begin on the 15th of April, 2024. And meeting with stakeholders is um, currently ongoing right now in the, in the GRS. We're having a meeting with NURT and other stakeholders in the transportation sector so as to ensure that a quarterly review of the IGR plan has been um, successfully carried out by all parties involved. So thank you for listening. Thank you very much. Lecture from the Executive Chairman, Gombe State Dana Revenue Service, ably represented by Aishada. Great from Gombe side. Hello, Mr. Moderator. I am the Executive Chairman. I'm not representing. Very sorry, Executive Chairman. Very sorry, very sorry. My apology, my apology. 100, 100, please, very sorry. The Executive Chairman, Aisha Adamu, uh, the Executive Chairman, Gombe State Internal Revenue Service, presented the lecture by herself. Her name is Aisha Adamu. Great, the Executive Chairman. Gombe, the General State. God bless you, the Executive Chairman. May Gombe State Internal Revenue Service prosper highly. And we pray some states will emulate the Gombe State stride on the IGR expansion strategy. God bless you, man. Hello? And the next, the next, the next speaker is um the Sokoto State Executive Chairman. Hello. Hello. Next, the Sokoto State Executive Chairman, Internal Revenue Service, to present Good afternoon. on the Sorry. progress update of action plan on agreed next action in 2024. Sir, the floor is open for you. You have 10 minutes, sir. Good, Good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, I am Hussein Bahe Alkanchi, the Executive Director, State Revenue Service, Sokoto. Okay. I stand in for, for, for the chairman. Okay. I'm standing for the chairman. You're welcome, sir. Okay. Thank Go you. Um, first of all, uh, the, the first my agenda was uh, appointment of focal person, yes. of which uh, appointed a, 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 a focal person to ensure and enable communication, accessible communication and coordination of yes. the platform, which is done already. Yes. Then, Launching the IGR expansion strategy, which is ongoing. Yes. Is ongoing. Then uploading the expansion of the service. Uploading the expansion strategy of, of the service has been on. Yes. We hope by the grace of God uh to finish the expansion very soon yes uh and finally on issue of hosting the physical hosting of the meeting yes. in my state yes i give you the assurance of my chairman that sokto state Sokoto State is only that we needed an official letter from the state to state, which is to be forwarded to the state governor so that we can get ready more. 
state to state is sharing, sir. Okay. Can we have that? That's maybe later after the meeting, sir. After the meeting, okay. Thank yes. you so much. Yes, sir. Thank you. I think, sir. I'm proof, yes. Okay, thank you very much. I'm hearing from the executive chairman, Sokoto State, represented by Hussein Abdullah, our country, the executive director. And uh, we, have founded, we have founded the progress update and action plan on agreed next steps for quarter, mm -hmm. first quarter of uh, 2024. And um, the next item on the agenda. I think someone is raising their hand. I think someone is raising their hand. Okay, okay. Brian Omar. I'm not the one raising my hand. Someone is raising their hand. Brian Omar. It's Muruna Ezra. I'm the one. Okay, Ezra. Yes, Muruna Ezra. Yes. Ezra. Good afternoon, everyone. I am Muruna Ezra, the capacity building advisor for state to state. Please, can anyone hear me? Yes, we can hear you, please. Okay. okay, just to respond to the Sokoto, concerning the um, letter that the Sokoto IRS uh, mentioned just now, the letter was drafted and sent, but then it was not um, submitted because we needed to um, make some minor changes. So right now the letter is ready and it has been shared with the STL. So the letter, the STL will um, assist us to dispatch it to IRS in soft and okay. hard. So this will be done today. Thank you, Anuba. Okay. Okay. We well, appreciate. Hello, Senator Abila. Are you with us? Yes. Uh... As that, yeah. A message to state to state conveyed now by Muna Ezra. I I have heard her. Very good. So thank you very much. So she didn't wait on, until after the meeting, but she gave response instantly. God bless. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay, okay. We are wait. Okay. We await the letter. Okay. Yes. We want to thank the all the all the executive chairmen of the six partner states for the progress update on the action plan on agreed steps for first quarter of 2024. We appreciate. And um, the next item on the agenda is the presentation of new developments on implementation of state IGR expansion strategy. And um, you say I should present. Uh, unfortunately, the, during the presentation of the up progress update of my chairman, the Adama Internal Revenue Service, he has made, he has made yeah. mention almost all the points, the new developments in his uh, speech. But notwithstanding, I will still make mention some of the new development on the implementation of IGR expansion strategy in 2024. One of it, the ITAS, that is the integrated tax assessment system that was installed in the world, has been diversified to include agri sector, that is livestock and grass. And we have started this thing since September 9, 2023, and is, um, is in pro, uh, almost the ITAS has already taken everything livestock and grass. We don't have problem with that. And the second uh, new development on the implementation of the IGR is the uh, including informal sector under the Recycles Riders uh, Association or Riders. We are collecting their daily PIT. That collection has been automated virtually, and it has happened in this first quarter of. 2024 we have done with that and um the third new development on the igr expansion strategy is customizing the dedicated e-portal 
concentrated on judicial revenues, that is high cost, sharia cost, and customary cost, which prior to this we don't have. That's one is also a new development. And um, the default, though the executive, my executive chairman mentioned that, the custom, we have customized our electronic cash book under road tax installation. You don't need to be carrying hard book from one zonal office to the headquarters to do your monthly progress. You can do it electronically. We have done with that. We call that new development. And we have created a dedicated call centers for all taxpayers feedback. If, even if you are staying in Canada, US, wherever you are, you can make an inquiry through our call centers for either inquiry or whatever you want. We have done with that. And we have succeeded, sir, in creating the risk management unit in the board, which prior to this we don't have. It has been created and approved by the executive chairman of the board. And we have created that to address risk issues in tax collection. The last but not the least, we have created multiple payment gateways as agreed on the 5th December 2023 at Abuja Community of Practice that we should create other means of gateway payments apart from the one we are having. That what we have done. We have created Remita, Pay Start, and Money Fund. It's existing. And all of them, they are shaking hands with the e management portal that we have on ground. These are the new development on the implementation of IGR expansion strategy that was meant for me to speak on. And um, I can say that is what we have done, what we have achieved so far. God bless you. I hope everybody hear what I've said. Hello. We've got to need very bad start. Thank you. Okay. Uh, the next line of agenda is um, improving communication, collaboration, and exchange in the com uh, committee of practice, which will be presented by Murna Ezra, capacity building advisor, state to state. Murna, the floor is open for you, 10 minutes. Improving communication, collaboration, and exchange in the community of practice. Okay. Good afternoon once again, everybody. Please, can you see my screen? Yes, we can. Yes, yes we can. Okay. Yes, we can. So I have just like five or seven slides, but then I'll go through it um, quickly. So I'm speaking on improving communication, collaboration, and exchange in the community of practice. That's the IGR community of practice. So I decided to take us through our purpose. I quoted it. Um, if you look at the terms of reference, we exist to facilitate quality conversation. So I bolded the facility quality conversation because that contributes to improving communication and collaboration between actors within states, um, revenue generation MDAs and re other relevant entities in bracket when necessary for improving internal revenue generation across the six partner states. So one of the roles of your responsibility we have as, as members is to ensure that on a regular basis, we are engaging in um, we're facilitating quality conversations through the listed um, or through the available mediums that we have. I'll take us through it in um, the others in other slides to come. So, in essence, um, communication and collaboration on this in this community is um, meant to help us leverage unique perspective. Um, why unique? perspective 
each state is is unique in terms of um, the progress made in implementing their expanded strategies, in terms of skills, in terms of capacity for IGR. So collaborating helps us to leverage on these diverse skill sets and knowledge of members of the community. And then this will in turn strengthen bond, co coordination, collaboration, and it also allows for ideas related to <clears throat> the interests of the community to be researched or conceived and shared for real-time interaction <clears throat> and problem solving within the community. So that's the essence of uh, improving communication and collaboration within this community, IGR community of practice. So I've also um, listed some of the few platforms or mediums that we have for communication and collaboration currently. We have the WhatsApp group, and uh, I'm sure almost everybody on this call is on the WhatsApp uh, group. If anyone is not on it, please indicate so that at the end of the meeting, I'll add him or her. So we have the WhatsApp um, group that is meant to help us um, engage, interact, respond to ideas in real time. And we also have the email where we can send mails, notifications like Adama um, IRSD. They shared the meeting agenda. They sought for inputs, but nobody responded. So that's also one means through which we can, we can um, communicate and share and exchange ideas. And then we also have individuals, phone number or details. We can call each other to ask for ideas on um, how to improve either taxation, IGR, or any other area that um, you are not strong in, but another state is doing very well in. And then we decided to agree, we also um, decided on rotational hosting. So um, this is to thank Adamawa for hosting the first virtual meeting. I know it's not easy because <clears throat> when we started, there was a lot of um, communication. Um, the network was bad, so there was a lot of uh, communication gap and all, but it's picking up now. So in, host, in, in rotational hosting, it allows for continuous interaction and capacity building for host states. Why? Because it enhances, uh, it helps as it reach out to other states to seek for input, ideas. Um, uh, also in terms of um, SCTAs, we might get to SCTAs later and then technical assistance, we might get to these other ones later. But the host state reaches out to seek for inputs, to seek for ideas and pull all of it together to um, convene either virtual or physical. So these are the available platforms or means that we have for communication right now um, on the COP, in this COP rather. But then we have um, challenges and I have to bring them out. There is very poor engagement by all members on the listed uh, mediums of exchange and communication above. And this has led to delayed response to urgent matters. I remember, um, when Adama IRS shared the first draft agenda for like two, three days, or even up to a week, nobody responded. So they had to call individual states. I'm sure that's what they did. And then that's when people started responding. So we need to think of um, ways, we need to suggest um, um, ideas for that will enable us on this platform to engage with these listed platforms. And then if there are other means for communication and improving collaboration, um, the next slide, I, I left it blank so that um, individual states can come up with suggestions for improving active engagement on the above listed platforms. So like I said, if, we, if, if, the, if these existing ones are not enough, if you have ideas for um, adding new ones, it is welcome. We will receive them. But then, Abu, Abu Hello, Madam. can you hear me? We are not seeing your uh, slide moving. Okay. Yes. Maybe it is your slide seven. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Okay. It's also good to put it in presentation mode. Okay, is 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 in presentation mode. Okay, let me escape. 
Can you see now? It is okay. Yes, it's moving now. Okay, it was in presentation mode. Yes, it's moving in now. It's okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. So I started with why we existed, why we're existing, and then I took us through our purpose, and then uh, mentioned um, the importance of communication and collaboration, which is to leverage unique perspective in terms of um, skill sets, capacity of different um, states to bring um, in order to um, bring it to the community for our for the community's benefit. And then I went on to list the available platforms or medium of communication and collaboration that we currently have in the community of practice. I mentioned the WhatsApp, email, phone contact, and then the explained a bit about the rotational hosting and its advantages. And then the major one is, are the challenges that we have. Members do not engage um, on this platform, the WhatsApp. I, I mentioned the case of Adama when they shared the first um, draft agenda. There was no response at all. And then a lot of times I've sent communication, maybe one or two persons might respond. So I, I think that that's a major um, challenge and we need to think of how to um, improve on that so as to help us respond real time. Because um, not doing that has led to um, delayed response to urgent matters. When they sent it, um, nobody said anything for close to a week. And then um, I think they followed up and then um, some states are saying, oh, we have an activity that is clashing we have an event that is clashing. So if people had responded in real time, we would have um, re-evaluated and probably scheduled a, a, an earlier time. But this delay has led um, us to having a second quarter meeting in early third quarter. So um, I am begging, a bit, is that the right word to use? Please, I'm calling on all of us. We need to sit down and think of how to improve um, communication on the available platforms that we have. And then if we need to add more to the listed ones, I'm open to um, hear your suggestions. And then well, above all, any states to suggest on how to um, improve on real-time communication. So with the, I, I listen to all the states. I'm sure Dr. Binga will say more on the achievements across all the states. So this is to congratulate all the states. Um, from the last meeting we held to now, I've listed, I've, I've heard a lot of achievements that um, were presented. So this um, um, has made us start thinking, we need to design or adapt tools, either quantitative or quantitative, that will help us track and collate um, the performance within this community, and also to help us uh, report on member state achievement, challenges, lessons learned. And then we also need to find um, better ways of disseminating this product. We can come up with newsletters, briefs, case studies, reports. These are just suggestions. But we might um, take this further in the physical meeting coming up in Sokoto in May, hopefully, tentatively in May. So this slide and all the content, we might take it forward in May to see what we can do to start documenting all the achievements that um, we're recording now and how we can share them either to our states to other stakeholders we need to be very very visible and make our um, achievements seen by all so this slide for the ones of time i'll send it via email to states please i need to suggest additional um, medium of communication or other means of collaboration that you think <clears throat> we should um, take note of i'll capture it and then also, I need to suggest how we can actively improve on communication and collaboration in this community of practice. Thank you very much and over. Okay, thank you very much, Madam Muruna Ezra. And um, um uh, uh, the next is uh, the room of question and answers. Yeah, you can make a video. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, so your hand will be lowered. Sound like you've said something. So your hand be lowered. Keep it raised. Hello, hello, Marister. Some people are raising their hands. Okay. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Good afternoon, Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Yeah, my name is Okoro Celestine from Melbourne State Internal Revenue Service. From the discussion, I learned that there is a, a WhatsApp group. We at the Melbourne State Internal Revenue Service have not, have not been added at the platform. So please, we want to appeal that we should be added at the platform, please. So that we'll be getting information and also contribute to the good. Can be sharing ideas with other states. Thank you and God bless you. This is noted. All right. Thank you. Okay. Hello. 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 Murna will respond to that question. Okay, I have noted it, but at the end of the meeting, um, I will call one person from Ebony that will share their WhatsApp phone numbers and then I'll add them to the group. Thank you and over. Thank you. Question session. Hi. Hello, Barista, can I come in? Yes, I'm coming. Mama. So, so thank you very much for these wonderful presentations. Uh, yeah. My own is not a question, but I am just urging all the presenters to please yeah. avail us with uh, their, their, their presentations, their papers for, okay. for record keeping, please. All the presenters okay. should send their copies of the uh, papers so that we we'll document them and then find a way of uh, uh, finishing our minutes. Thank you. Okay, I hope everybody here in presented paper here. Yeah, at what Hello, question. Okay. Hello. Any question? Hello. What is the? Some people are raising their hands, including okay. uh, including Director Maxwell. So look at look at it. Maxwell. Tawdaus. You can go on with your question, sir. Mr. Max Etadawu, so Amanda. Hello, are you hearing me? I'm hearing you, sir. Okay, good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, sir. Um, my question goes to the the representative of uh, the executive chairman, Adama State Internal Revenue Service. Okay, go on, sir. When he was uh, making his presentation, he talked about uh, centers has been created, uh, response centers. Hello, is, are you hearing me? We are hearing you, sir. Okay, taxpayers' response centers has been created um as one of uh, the achievement yes, uh, please uh, i would like him to expatiate more on this um yes. so that people outside adamant state will will know where these response centers have been created 
at least for reason of contact, easy contact. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Once again, good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. Uh, my colleague, Director Maxwell, for that. In fact, uh, when you go to the e tax portals, it's where taxpayer feedback. So there are people at the back end that respond to issues that relate either to the tax payment, assessment, and all of that. The key officers there is the information exchange of the board, Mr. Zachary. We also have from the consultant side, Mr. Dole, that responds questions. And we have Mr. Alfred in the cash office. If there are issues that relate to the consolations of your payment, issues that relate to uh, downtime of one of the payment gateways, you'll be responded instantly on a real end basis. So it's two, four hours. So it's not a, a, a center that you can even see it openly. It's made on a cloud base so that uh, if you make raise the questions by way of either tuning in, in a mail or whatever, to respond to you immediately. Thank you very much for that. Hello, Aliu. I'm at Aliu. Uh, yes, sir. Good afternoon, all. Yeah. Yeah, I went yeah, to I say, it. yes, I'm from Gombe State Internal Revenue Service. You're welcome, sir. Uh, I want to say that not of, not all of us from here uh, in the WhatsApp group have indicated in the message box that I am not in the WhatsApp group. Okay. Yes. Uh, um. Moruna Ezra, can you help us with this um, observation? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Madam Moruna, we are waiting. Okay. So, um, go there, there was, there was this an observation that, um, yes. I said I've noted it. So go be okay. just like this, Ebony. Okay. And then okay. any other said I, I know we, we've had like for Gombe, we had the name okay. of the former um okay. EC, but when he left, I added a uh, madame zone to the group. So please, if okay. you have any member that is yet to be on the WhatsApp um, platform, okay. just for okay. the details to me. I'll add them. Thank you. Okay. Mr. Maxwell, you are still you are still raising your hand. Any question? So if there is no question, please, um, any paper presented by any person in the program, please should um, refer, send the papers to Zakaria Abdullah, the Eastern officer, Adama State Internal Revenue Service. Thank you. The next item on the agenda is A or B, any other business us for next meeting it will it will be done by the executive chairman at the state internal revenue service introduces the next host state and passes the parking lot okay thank you executive chairman at the state board of internal revenue mr okay, S. K. Okay. the okay. floor is thank up you thank you for that uh, time thank you very much on behalf of my principal, I will now give the ball run down to Akwaiban State, who is hosting the uh, virtual meetings, and also our colleague up there, the Caliphate State, Sokoto, to host the uh, in person meeting. I hope um, Ezra will also that we we'll learn much from them. I was so happy with them when they made their presentation. Thank you very much, Mr. S.K. Sabana, every rep uh, who represented the executive chairman of Adama Internal, Internal Revenue Service. The next agenda is next steps on the COP. 
uh, the person to be on the floor is Dr. Olu Benga Oyuole, PFM Director, PFM Technical Director, State to State. Yeah. So it's, yeah, yeah. Okay, it's thank start. you very much. Uh, it's, it's been a very rewarding uh, interaction. Yes. But there's something I want to stress, which uh, Muna mentioned. The number one killer of uh, a community of practice yes. is lack of responses in form of uh, infrequent meetings. Luckily, I think we have uh, gone past that one. We now have our meetings agreed on a quarterly basis, and we believe that uh, we won't have cause to uh, skip any of the meetings. Another very big uh, thing is when questions are not asked, when they are supposed to be asked, yes. and when questions are asked, they are not answered when they are supposed to be answered. Yes. They can kill initiatives because the main reason for uh, a community of practice is to exchange ideas. And there's no way you can exchange ideas if you don't ask questions. Yeah. You can't exchange ideas if questions are asked and answers are not provided. Yes. And it is when another one is if there are requests, for example, like, uh, like uh, Muna mentioned, there are yeah. requests for, from us to confirm when uh, the time uh, the suitability of the uh, proposed time. You can yeah. imagine what, what, like you mentioned, because of lack of response, our clashes. Yeah. And again, when we have posts, if we don't have response to posts, it dampens the spirit of those uh, posting. And yeah. it also now uh, affects those others. So please, it will make, it, make things very lethargic. And if this is not if it is not uh, addressed in time, yeah. is one of the main main any 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 uh, in the literature of community of practice the number one the number one challenge that can uh, kill the community of practice is lack of uh, uh, activity within the community, and that is part of what I've listed. So yeah. please, as the way of next next steps, we should all be committed to ensuring yes. that we ask questions, we provide answers to the questions, and all the platform that uh, Muna has uh, mentioned, she had also gracefully uh, indicated that if we have suggestions for additional uh, for, uh, fora, which we yeah. might be more convenient for us, please let's come, let's come with them so that yeah. we, we ensure that there's activity within the uh, the community. We all know, all of us, yes. we know that we are very busy people. But this uh, community of practice is also part of our uh, activities, which also keep us busy. So please, as a way of next steps, let us be sure that we are committed to ensure that there are activities within the community. Yes. Uh, then please, uh we shouldn't also limit this uh question and answer to even the forum we, we can even be uh personal because that is one of the one of the advantages of uh of a community of practice is networking it can be issue of uh, uh to at least either concerning our our community issues with the relation of our community or even if something that is a uh, personal you know, somebody in the you wants to do something in uh, a quiet bomb uh it will be easy. or somebody in uh, sokoto wants to do something in uh, a boy if you are communicating well it will be very easy for you to uh, identify somebody there and, and to talk to the person but if you are not communicating yeah. regularly it becomes uh like an inertia you are not encouraged to reach out to such people so please let's uh, exactly. let's ensure we do that then another thing that also came up came up which is also very interesting is to find out to have a template i think uh Mona also mentioned to have a template where yeah. we can at least measure uh the sources of challenges 
And I think yeah. that a template will come with such a template and ask for our input from people so that by the time we come for the next meeting, we'll be able to uh, see and this agree so that we're able to yeah. at least monitor whatever we are doing. Another mm. thing I also want, which will be the third thing now, I think mm. because the main essence of, uh, of what we are doing is to expand our idea to, to ensure that uh, whatever activities, whatever actions we are taking is towards increasing IGR. I would, exactly. rather, suggest, I would rather suggest that as a way of next steps, when we are making presentations on a quarterly basis, definitely we have budgets. We have budgets yes. and we have actuals. Wherever we, uh, when we, when we, I think it might be better for us to report on uh, increases and identify which act actions yes. or activities or what we have we done to that we can attribute to such uh, increases for a, a, a very good thing for example uh, if you digitalize and you increase uh, your number of uh, taxpayers what it means yeah. that the technical aid that will result into uh, getting more people into the tax net and also result into getting more uh, revenue. So I think that is also one of the ways we can attract uh, uh, the effectiveness of our community or practice because if we, if we exchange ideas on implementing things that would increase, we should also be able to see how these things we are doing, the beautiful things we have uh, we listened to, have they really uh, impacted positively on the revenue generating capacity of the state? Because if they yeah. don't, they cannot do all these things. We are, we are not doing them for doing sake. We are doing them to mm -hmm. expand uh, the area of the states. So I think as a way yeah. of next steps, it will also be good for us to take a look at uh, the uh, revenue performance. And if we can track what uh, actions or what uh, activities we have done to account for such uh, this thing, that would be very encouraging. It will be encouraging to us. It will also be encouraging to other states to see. Can we do this line to see if we can uh, get more? Uh, the last but not the least, I want to mention mm -hmm. is uh, uh, I think that that might not be it might, it's, not, it's not something that we might uh, decide on immediately, but we can be start to consider is the issue of yes. uh, maybe making the 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 meetings uh, in person. I said, because the, from what we have said, the challenges of uh, virtual, yeah, I'm sure is maybe because of uh, the peculiarities of our uh, inter network system, internet network system across the country is not making it uh, as, as seamless as one would have expected. I think we might start thinking of, uh, instead of virtual, start thinking of uh, uh, maybe uh, in person. This one, if you are looking at the cost, you might now be looking at uh, maybe the frequency or be looking at the number of people that will be participating. I think this this is uh, as a way of next, next, these are some of the things we can we can look at. So I think at this point, I would uh, I will stop uh, on the issue of next steps and uh, maybe uh, ask if anybody has anything that we can uh, include as a uh, world next step, which I, I might have uh, uh, overlooked or forgotten. Thank you very much. Hello, thank you very much. We I hope the six partner states had what Mr. Oyewole said in the presentation. And um, last but not the least. This all the state presented the papers in this program should uh, send their papers to Zagari Abdullah and their attenders. Paper presenting presented at attenders, send it to Zagari Abdullah, Adamo State Internal Revenue Service. And for those of us that we are here in the physical, after this, we have a group photograph. Don't move away. God bless you. The next 
agenda is closing the program and it is going to gonna hold by the executive chairman at the most general revenue service in the name of Haman adama jabari okay okay um, the cor chief of party my it's a distinguished ladies and gentlemen thank you very much for your time you are in the sean sign state we appreciate you for all the country and our gentlemen that have taken their time to take the notes have been recorded recording the process and we are looking forward to see ourselves physically in sokoto and again uh, we hope that our five one will prepare very well the way we have ladies and gentlemen we meet once again thank you on behalf of our uh, chief executive the executive government right honorable amadou marufintri we appreciate you to now work with other master states in your respective state. thank you very much thank you very much the executive chairman, Adam Oste, Internal Revenue Service, heavily represented by SK Sabana, the director of Access MLA. And, um, Thank you. Goodbye. See you in Sokoto. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you so much for my uh, hey, uh, yeah. goodbye from my Bible. Awesome. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. everyone. Looking mm. forward thank you. Thank you. Well done, what is that? Well done. Gentlemen, speeches were presented. Successes okay. were shared, challenges identified, and by the special grace of God, uh, uh, solutions were provided so that the goals will finally be achieved in their entirety. At this point, permit me to appreciate you all for sparing your equally important time to attend this meeting. Our gratitude will not be easily quantified. Therefore, it is my pleasure to wish you all the best in the remaining part of your day, and always, always, always. Thank you very much. God bless you. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.